Next, the rent for Feb 2017 has not been received yet. So in other words, this rent amount that you guys see here, let me just circle it. That's going to be our rent income. That represents 11 months. The rent increased by 15% on the 1st of July 2016. So look, there are a myriad of ways to go about solving this question. Let me show you how I want to do it. I learned this when I was in grade 12. Um, it was from another YouTube channel. This fellow named Ashraf. Ashraf was teaching me. Never fear, Ashraf is here. If, if you know him, yeah, Ashraf, what a legend. Shukran. Thank you for everything, Ashraf. Um, okay, so let's do it. So our financial period, right? That's going to be the 1st of March 2016 to the 28th of Feb 2017. Okay, so we paid from the 1st of March to like the 1st of Feb, right? We, we haven't paid this month's rent. So it represents 11 months. But the rent increased by 15% on the 1st of July 2016. So we had a normal 100%, like just a normal 100% that we were always paying from March, April, May, June. March, April, May, June. That's going to be four months where we paid the usual, like our standard 400%. Then from the 1st of July all the way to the 1st of Feb, that's going to be seven months, the remaining seven months. Then we paid 115%. <coughs> so that comes to a total of 805%, which gives us a grand total of 1205%. Now, if I could just change colors, that 108,450, if we were to divide that by this 1205 that we calculated, we're actually solving for just what 1% is. So in other words, that 1%, just plug that in your calculator, you should get 90 rands. That 90 rands, it represents 1%, 1%. So in other words, if we paid an additional 115%, that's gonna be 115%, but don't use the percentage sign, oh my goodness gracious, don't use decimals. 115 times 90, and that gives us 10,350. So that's 10,350. And that amount is representative of 115%. That is the amount that is owed to us. That is an income receivable. So income receivable, you would just add that to your rent income in your income statement. So that's going to be 108,450 plus the 10,350. And this 118,800 you simply plug that total amount in your income statement. And this 10,350, you would just plug it into your balance sheet and the current assets, trade in other receivables, 10,350 and boom, that's the question.